Well, here it is all blown apart. And like before, everything is just covered in oil, dirty, gritty, greasy, disgusting. So it's going to need a lot of cleaning. I was really surprised to see that the head actually has roller bearings in it. But they're they really do sound rough so they're gonna get replaced I have a couple of those on order the other thing is the back of the three jaw chuck it should have a cover on it in fact there's holes right there there and there to secure the back cover on it I don't know if you can hear that over the dam fan on the 3D printer but that's very gritty and it takes a lot of effort to open and close it Oop. so the first thing I'm gonna do is tear that apart and get it cleaned up well I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos on YouTube showing how to take one of these apart and there's really not much to them main thing is is to keep the jaws in the respected bore I don't know if any of these will be marked like they are on my mini lathe or not and kind of see a three punched in right there Is it marked on? Nope. Number one. Number two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my center punch Three. All Look at my hands already from E. These are pretty tight fit in there and they can be a pain in the butt to get out, but never had one this tough. I'm sure it doesn't uh, help that there's a bunch of crap in there. Let me spray it with a little PB blaster. Yeah, right there is a real tough spot. Mm. 
Let's find the easiest place. Try pushing it out from there. Most time you can just drop them down like that and they'll pop right out. I never had to beat on one with a hammer, but that might be what I'll end up having to resort to. Looks like it's finally moving. Should have put on a pair of gloves before I started this. There. The scroll wheel looks okay. Feels other than the grit. Feels okay. All of the teeth look fine. Some rust inside there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right in there is some. Yeah. Well, hopefully, with a little cleaning and polishing, get everything smoothed right out and hopefully make it work a little better. I got everything cleaned up. All I did was take it over to the sink, run some hot water, put some dish soap in there, a little bristle brush, and went to town. And it, I got rid of all the crap in it, anyhow. And then I put all the parts in a gallon Ziploc bag and sprayed a bunch of PB Blaster in there and shook it up, got everything coated up really well so I don't have any rust issues. I tried using a uh, some real fine wet dry sandpaper to get rid of the rust and that stuff's in there pretty good it, it wouldn't come out didn't remember to grab the other set of jaws that were still wrapped up got them cleaned up as well and coated everything looks pretty good now got rid of all the gritty crap off of it and see if she'll go back together They are tight fits, that's for sure. I'm actually trying to get it back out now so I can maybe get a better run at it. Make sure I didn't get 
get any dirt on it. That's much better. All right. One thing I noticed when I was cleaning everything up was a lot of marks. Like, save for this, you know. Hopefully you can see that. But it looks like it might have been mounted on a lathe at one time. Whether I got new parts or not, I don't know. Let's get three of the same jaws. Put back together. One just went, so I'm sure two went, and I just didn't hear it. But I always spin it backwards until I hear all three of them click, and then start tightening it up, closing everything down to make sure everything stays even. But it doesn't look like I got number two even. Nope. Get it this time. Looks like it.
That's so much better. That's a whole lot better. All right. Well, I'll get some grease and I'll put them on those teeth and call this one good. On to the next dirty part.